All right, welcome back. As we go into 2022, there's a new tool helping patients deal with pain, increase their mobility, and improve their lives. All good things. It's called Robot Precision Therapy. Dr. Colin Elkins joins us live now to explain. Good morning, Dr. Elkins. Tell me, what is this therapy all about? Hi, good morning. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. So uh, the robotic uh, robotic precision therapy is kind of a, a complement to other therapies. Um, we, pr we use robot ro a robotic arm to apply static pressure for up to 10 seconds and up to 30 pounds of pressure. Um, the beauty of it is it uh, spends a good amount of time to help elongate a muscle t muscle tissue that may be pulling on you know bony aspects that might be pulling your, your body out of alignment and causing you aches and pains. All right, so who would be a perfect candidate for this type of uh, procedure or uh, therapy? You know, this is just like any other therapy. You know, everybody's a candidate. We treat patients all the way in from childhood all the way up into geriatric patients as well. Okay, and uh, basically, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, the patient comes in, they lay, lay down, and it's basically like getting a massage, only a machine's doing most of the work, and it's very targeted? It's very targeted. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't, uh, suggest that it's a massage. Um, like I said, we, uh, as a therapist, I will set your patient up. Um, typically, for example, like the hip flexor, I'll find that little pocket that you would apply the robotic arm right up to the, the skin. And then after hitting start, the robot drops down, puts a little bit of pressure right into the muscle belly and tries to elongate that tissue to try to kind of almost factory reset the muscle to its original length. Gotcha. Uh, I, I tend to, I'm a, I run, I jog, I take my dog jogging a lot. I've got some lower back pain. I got tight hamstrings. So I come in to see you and, and kind of walk me through the procedure. So I take a look at you. I take a look at your posture. I take a look how you're walking. Um, we take a look at your mobility and see how, how the muscle tissues look for you. You know, do you have tight hamstrings or do you have tight hip flexors or do you have both? Um, and then we lay you down on the table and, you know, we would, we would work through a progression of different, different points on the body to try to see if we can free up some motion and see if that takes away any of the aches and pains that you might be having. I have to imagine that uh, depending on uh, the treatment that you're receiving, the, the time varies. Uh, kind of uh, walk us through the, the range there. Yeah, so usually on the first appointment, we usually see people for about an hour and a half because they do have to do a little bit more of an observation and, and you know, take some measurements and, and things like that. Um, but for the most part, it's about an hour. Uh, we spend about anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes on, on each muscle tissue that we're working on for that day. Um, and we just, you know, we treat you how you present that day. You know, if you're having something going on different, you know, we'll, we'll take a look at that too. And I think we kind of touched on it, but just, just to highlight it again, why use robots to do this sort of thing? Well, the beauty of it is, you know, it's something that I can't physically do. You know, 30 pounds of pressure, it doesn't sound like a lot, but it's quite a bit. And if you're doing that over and over and over as a physical therapist, your hands and your, your body is going to probably break down a lot quicker. The nice part about this is that I can set the robot arm and just monitor to make sure that it's always in the right spot. Right. And that, that precision, that's a key word there. You want to make sure that you're targeting uh, not only the specific muscle, but a specific area of the muscle. Absolutely. Yep. You want to make sure that you're right in the, uh, typically in the muscle belly, which is the middle of the muscle for, for layman people. And if people were coming to see you, is this a, a reoccurring treatment or are you one and done? How does that work? We typically see patients about one to 10, 10 treatments. Um, everybody varies. It just depends on how long you've been dealing with something and how well your body reacts to the therapy. Most typically, uh, would it be back pain, leg pain, arm pain? Uh, is it, all, it runs the gambit, doesn't it? It does, but we do see we do see quite a bit of you know chronic low back pain. Right. Um, some things that people can kind of as they as they enter the new year and they they want to make sure they're off on a, on a healthy start here. Do you have any sort of tips to make sure that maybe they they don't have to come see you? They could kind of tackle this before it gets to to be a terrible situation. You know, biggest thing I say for my patients is always be watching your posture. You know, as we work and slave away at the desk all day, we tend to get forward, forward, forward until, you know, our shoulders get tight, our neck starts hurting, or our low back starts hurting from poor posture sitting in a chair. All right. And if people want to find out more about how uh, they could come see you and where you're located, uh, where can they find that? Uh, they can find it at rptclinic.com, um, and you can call or email to make appointments. Dr. Elkins, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Uh, good information there. And uh, we'll be right back after this break. Thank you.